Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting ready. I say welcome back to my channel. Welcome me back to my own channel. I haven't been here for ages and I think that the longer that I leave it, the more awkward I feel. But I've been doing a lot of events recently and through like chatting to those of you guys, I realised just how important YouTube is. It's always been important to me and I've always known that I was going to come back. It's just taken me ages. Yeah, we're going to talk. We're going to talk all about it while I do my makeup. So this is going to be like a bit of a makeup tutorial, chatty, get ready with me, life update, all of those things. I'm going out tonight. I've not been out in a pretty long time. Mum has got a night out and I'm getting ready and I was saying to Jack, I was like, I kind of feel like filming today, but I've not done it in so long. I've got my dress hanging, draped on the floor behind me. I'm just gonna get started. So I'm gonna use skin over to start. I've got my makeup bag in front of me that I've been using when I've been traveling and stuff. All my products in that bag are pretty much weave. So it's gonna be mostly a weave tutorial and I'm sure there'll be things that I'm using that you guys haven't seen if you only follow me on here. So I think the last time that I spoke to you, I was going on holiday. That was quite a while ago now. I'm just gonna start with cream bronzer. This is my new fave thing to do and I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush. Oh my God, these brushes are so clean. The last video that I put on YouTube was a holiday packing video. And the last makeup tutorial I posted was three months ago. I always knew that I would take a wee bit of a break from YouTube when I had Romy. So she's five months old. I think I kind of came back pretty soon when I was on mat leave still. And then obviously since then I've come off mat leave and I've been working honestly just really, really hard on Vive. Kept really busy with that. Kind of started traveling again. I'd done a couple of trips when I was still breastfeeding. I'm planning on filming a whole video about breastfeeding to be honest because I had like mastitis at one point which I managed to get over quite quickly. It was going really good for a bit and then it wasn't going so great. If there's anything in there that would maybe help then I would quite like to film a video on that but when I was still breastfeeding and I was going down to London for the day and I think I did one overnight when I was still pumping it was really really tricky to travel and then for a kind of multitude of reasons I came away from my breastfeeding. I stopped my journey with it moved Romy on. She's doing amazing. Romy is five and a half months old. We're kind of getting into a really good routine when it comes to me traveling for work and what happens at home. It's something that I, I'm really grateful for because we're managing to juggle I think really well. I stopped breastfeeding when Romy was four months and four months just so happens to be, and I'm gonna be really honest in this video, four months was kind of like a turning point where things went from feeling, I wouldn't say easy, but things were super like smooth sailing. And then when she hit four months, things got a little bit trickier. Her sleep was not ideal. It's almost like she became her own little person, which makes it so fun and so much like better. In a way, it makes it so magical. But there's like other challenges that come along with that. The only thing, that these challenges have a real impact on his time. When she was tiny, oh my God, we had so much free time because she slept so much. When she was awake, she was just like pretty chill. And then obviously as this little tiny person is becoming their own person with like things that she likes, things that she doesn't like, her naps went from being really easy to just put her down to being, you know, slightly longer to get her to sleep and stuff like that. So we just really felt it when it came to time and how much free time we had at the same time as like navigating work and life. It was just proper nuts for a while. And I feel like it's so fun. It's the best thing I've ever done in my life. But I feel like I've blinked and it's now five months. Like I cannot believe it. I can't remember who told me this. It must've been one of you guys in my DMs or something, but it's like as soon as you figure it out and you feel like you're like, okay, no, this is it. We're doing pretty good. Everything will change. And then you have to learn like a whole new routine or a whole new way of doing things. And it is just madness. It keeps you on your toes big time. So like I said, I've been traveling quite a lot. Like once a week, I've been down. I think I went away for two nights to London this week. Last week I was in Dublin, week before I was in London, next week I'm in London for a night. I tell you what really surprised me, right? I never really thought about how I would go about being a parent online, especially on YouTube. There's something about opening up yourself up to criticism, unsolicited advice, kind of giving a little bit of insight and then worrying about people kind of making up the rest. I was never going to be a family vlogger and I'm not going to be but even talking about parenting honestly gives me the 
hugest fear. Even though I know that I'm doing my absolute best and I think I'm a good mum, you know, Romy is like the most important thing to me in the entire world. There's something about being challenged on that that makes me feel really unsettled. This is an example actually, I've been thinking about this a lot. I was thinking about vlogs and how much I miss them and want to do them and I had a really busy week this week and I thought, right, I'll pick up my vlog camera, it'll be good. And then I started thinking about the fact that I won't be showing Romy much, if at all. And then I started wondering, I was like, but then will people think that I'm just never with her? And I was like, oh God, I don't want to give that impression because it's not the case at all. It's like the opposite. Every moment I'm not work working, I'm with Romy. And then I'll think to myself, oh no, I don't care because the people that, the anyone that would say that doesn't know me well enough and you know that I really mind what people would think if they don't know me that well. But at the end of the day, kind like you can't you can't help but get your back up a wee bit so honestly i have been spiraling about how to go about filming i suppose and actually i think maybe youtube's one that's the scariest to me because i've been so open and vulnerable in the past so i guess what you could say i'm not going to talk about it much more right but i'm just still figuring it out i think maybe at one point i said to myself that having a baby it wouldn't change everything about my life but at the end of the day it has it really has in the best way it has changed probably what I want to do on here. I think that there's some things that will stay the same like makeup and all the kind of beauty stuff. I think it's mostly the vlogs and because I miss them so much and I miss doing them so much, I'm thinking about them a lot. I know that you guys love them. I get messages every day asking when they're coming back. The content that's inside those vlogs considering how busy we are, with Romy, how much time that I spend with her, how I want to spend all my time with her. Part of me really wants to share her, but then it's not that, honestly, it feels like it's almost not up to me. There is stuff that I share on Instagram and little videos that I take that I think that you guys would love to see, but we've really not shared that much because I would just never want her to Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I actually felt like turning the camera off there and just doing my makeup. I was like, I'll just do this another day, but I'm gonna power through. I'm gonna power through because I think that unless I talk about this a little bit, I'll never get like to grips with it. I know that all of you will be so supportive, no matter what, but I think deep down, I just hate the idea of letting anyone down. I need to get over it. <laughs> maybe you can see this, this This is a disclaimer that I am gonna be coming back to YouTube. Okay, maybe I should have gone about it this way. I am gonna be filming again. You're not gonna see a whole lot of Romy. That doesn't mean that I don't spend all my <laughs> time with her. YouTube's part of my work and how lucky to be able to say that. Where's my concealer? I started this channel out of like nothing but love for the platform and it changed into vlogs and letting you guys into my life in such a huge way. I don't want to stop, but there are now going to be things about my life that I probably don't share. I'm asking for you not to assume that because I'm not going to share as much about certain things that they are not my priority. I suppose I want you to know as well that the reason that I'm not sharing is actually got very little to do with me and everything to do with Romy and her kind of future and stuff. I always said to my like team and stuff like that and Jack and my family that I am so happy sharing like my experience with motherhood, you know, like the things that I think have helped and the stuff that Romy likes, but it's all going to be about my experience and not as much about Romy, if that makes sense. I suppose another huge part of this is the fact that I'm back, I was back at work so early and work is such a big, important part of my life. You know, there's certain things that I've put in place in my life and we've put in place in our life for me to be able to work that mean that Romy is completely spoiled with love. No, there's no such thing actually as spoiled with love, but she is so, so, so loved. And I'm saying all this like I'm never ever ever going to show her. I don't really know. I don't, I honestly don't know. I've showed you on here before. I love sharing, like I said, photos and videos that I take that I'm like, oh, I really want to share that. But I suppose because it's like the biggest, most important part of my life and I've always shared so much, it feels weird to me not to do it. So <laughs> that's some of my like anxieties, I suppose, that I've been feeling that I've not really known how to say. And I think it has been putting me off filming because I feel like I needed to say something. So like I said, I've been thinking a lot about YouTube and what it means to me. And honestly, I think that when 
there's a good week or a good moment to vlog, I want to do that. I really want to get back into doing proper makeup because for a while there I didn't. I was kind of been focusing on other platforms and things like that, but there is something about YouTube that can't be replaced for me, so I really don't want to go anywhere. I love the kind of little vlogs that I make that are like round the house. I love home updates. I love all kind of things beauty. I think that vlogs, like travel vlogs when they make sense, then great. I'd love to show you a little bit more behind the scenes about work, about Vive and the business and how I do things, how things are made even, the process, the team like down in London and stuff. Like I said I had like a really cool week this week, we had a huge event in London for Vive and there were so many like friends of Vive there, I would love to show you what it looks like, how kind of like we did that. And then I suppose at the end of the day it's up to, it's really up to you guys, what I do. I would love to know what it is you would like to see. I also think social media has like hugely changed. Um, like I said, YouTube for me, I don't think can be replaced. I think that the, the type of videos that I watch here and the, the way it makes me feel, which is like kind of calm and comforted, just being able to put on a video and sit and watch it for like 10 minutes is so different to like the way that you use TikTok, which I do really love. I spend quite a lot of time on TikTok and I've started making more videos there. And then Instagram for me is always going to be a place that I can just share photos and stories. Stories for me is kind of taken over from vlogs a little bit just because there's little moments throughout the day that I like to share but I'm just yeah I suppose I'm so interested to hear what you guys think. I know it's changed for so many of us and so many people that I met recently have said how much they love YouTube and they miss the vlogs and then I've said do you spend a lot of time on YouTube still and they've been like not, not as much. Maybe it's more of a nostalgia thing. I don't know. Just talk to me. Tell me what you think. Has it been anyway but there you go, you can kind of see the bit of makeup a bit better anyway. I can't believe the kind of like emotional dump that I've just had on you, but clearly it's been weighing on my mind a lot more than I thought. I'm going to tell you what I've used so far because I've been too busy talking about my emotions. After I did my concealer, I went in with my cream bronzer, my Modern Radiance cream bronzer in the shade medium. Then I set that with my Modern Bronzer powder and I used the new Dimension Face Palette in shade Twilight. This looks really scary. It is not. It is so, so easy to use. I love it. I've been using that a lot lately. And like I said, I've been filming quite a lot on TikTok, little like short makeup tutorials, and I've really been enjoying it. It's so good for when I'm like on the go and when I'm traveling. I use our new Nova Glow Liquid Light in the shade Holy Chic from a highlight. This is nuts. We've had a lot of really, really nice new launches. I'm very proud of them. On my eyebrows, Benefit have come out with their like Christmas stuff. This is their festive, fluffing festive brows. So I've got the shade 3 on and I did my brows before I started filming. Modern Powder Perfector in the shade Medium. I wand in sand and then I just used my Terra Quad. I'm going to go quite glam but I still wanted to be my neutrals. I don't, I don't want to play too much today if you know what I mean. I just want to feel nice. I was going to say this is the first night out I've had. It is. I've been to book. I can't speak from the eyeliner right there. So I've been to book club every month since Robbie was born. I've read the book most of the time and I've been to a couple of like events for work but actually I've not been out in like where I'm from in Glasgow for such a long time. I'm actually really looking forward to it. And actually I think that this, apart from work, this is the first time that I'm getting properly dressed up. We've been to a wedding but I drove. I realised that the last time that I had at all a headache from having a couple of glasses of vino the night before was my 30th birthday which was four months ago. So it's one of my friend's birthdays and for her birthday I've got, I've got her a voucher which I always think is a cop out but she really wants a KitchenAid so I got her a John Lewis gift voucher and that just goes to show how the age you know, we're all getting to. Although I bought some wine today at Sainsbury's and the woman looked at me for a very long time like she was wondering if she was going to ID me and I got so excited because I do not feel like a spring chicken these days and because of my excitement she was like you're okay. I'm just using modern mascara. I've cut the frame but see in that corner I've got a box full of new stuff to try and I'm almost like saving it up. I've got the new MAC foundation to try. I've got the new hourglass skin tint. I feel like we've not had good foundations actually for a long time. Oh my god, this is actually shaping up to be alright considering I had a bit of a meltdown at the start of it. Might smoky these up a little bit. Do you know what actually I've been really liking since Romy got to be a little bit older, I suppose since I started feeling more myself, it took me a little while to feel like I was back to myself, especially after breastfeeding. Oh my god, I've never felt so down ever. 
ever in my life that was quite tough mentally to get over but after I kind of felt like I was mostly over it I started paying a little bit more attention to what I was wearing. I've been shopping on Vinted a little bit. Actually mostly for Romy. Vinted's unbelievable for kids clothes because you know what it's like you'll get something nice for your baby or your toddler and they grow out of it so quick. And how often do you actually put your baby in nice clothes? Me, not that often. She lives in her little like sleep suits and then when we go out, we put like a nice jacket on her or like a big body suit. That's what I got invented. It's, it's really good for, I was gonna say for humans as well. It's really good for adults too. There's so much stuff on there, but I've been paying more attention to what I'm wearing and kind of going through my cupboards, like slim lining as well. Right, I'm just using bark first and blend that in with my finger. And then I'm going to use Cherry Lip Dew. This is the newest shade of Lip Dew. And it is a perfect amount of rosiness. This camera is making my makeup look fucking bizarre. I'm just blending that out with a little bit of peach. Let me take these out and see. There's something about this that I am not sure about. I'm going to add underneath my eye. Oh, I don't know if that was a mistake. She says that she dips into a darker eyeshadow. Right, let's do some lower lash mascara. No, I think tonight's actually a night for a nude lip. This lip's my favourite thing when I don't have any eye makeup on. I'm just blending that with bark now. I took off pretty much all of it when I wiped my lip. Yeah, that's better. Right, we'll do our fresh fills. Okay, this is looking better. This is looking good. I think as well it looks different because I'm wearing a smokier eye, but I really don't do my skin too heavy these days. I really enjoy a kind of fresher skin, like you can see my freckles all through it. It's not completely like perfect, if you know what I mean, but I think, I think it looks good. Will we put my dress on and see what that looks like? This is honestly the best dress ever. And I actually got this dress on eBay. Oh my God, how good is that? Look at the sleeves. I just feel like it's giving... Austin Powers a little bit. Stevie Nicks, obsessed. You'll have seen this dress before, guaranteed, because it's everywhere. It's slightly tight on my arms. I've got a size large, and honestly, I wish I had an extra large, but I got it off eBay, so there's not much I can do about it. I think we'll do these hoops, which need a wipe. Ugh, oh, guys, I feel like a lot of the stuff I've talked about today is extremely trivial, and it's just me in my own head. I think as well, because I work Monday to Friday with Fave, and then I film a lot of the other content after Romy goes to sleep. My weekends I try and save for Romy as well. Sometimes it's just a time thing. That was the most random sit down chat get ready with me I've ever done in my life. Who knows if you'll ever see it, but I care about you a lot. I hope you're doing great. I hope you like the makeup and the fit. For shoes I'm just wearing like ankle boots. I've got a wee heel. I hope you don't think I've lost my mind. Part of me kind of probably has lost my mind a little bit. My brain does not function the same way it used to. But yeah, just know. <laughs> God, I'm like pure cleaning my desk. I'm like anxiously touching everything. I'm going to work on a little plan, a little schedule of stuff that I really want to film and show you guys. I am really excited to see your comments so you can let me know what it is that you would like to see from me now that you know that we're on a, a certain trajectory online. I really want to come back and film vlogs and stuff, but just the, the content in which those vlogs will have might be a little bit different to what you're expecting. All right, I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Oh my God, I look a wee ghosty. Do you know what, I'm, again, I said, all I'm asking is, I don't know, what am I asking for? Guys, I just cut out. I can't even remember what I was saying. Good to look to Jack in this.